uh, learn about uh, the biography of uh, Dr. Tatsuki Tahara. Cool. So Tatsuki Tahara received his BE, ME, and DE degrees in electronics and information science from the Kyoto Institute of Technology, Japan, in 2007, 2009, and 2013, respectively. He was a research fellow with the Japan Society of Promotion of Science from 2011 to 2013, an assistant professor with the Faculty of Engineering Science Kansai University, Osaka, Japan, from 2013 to 2018, and a special appointment associated professor with the National Institute of Informatics, Japan, from 2018 to 2019, and a researcher with the Precursory Research of Embryonic Science and Technology, the Japan Science and Technology Agency, uh, from 2016 to 2020. He has published a roadmap article of incoherent digital holography with famous inventors of IDH in 2022. He is currently a senior research researcher with the National Institute of Information and Communications Technology, and his research interests include incoherent digital holography and multidimensional imaging with the digital holography. Yeah, thank you very much. So now let us welcome the speaker, Dr. Tatsuki Tahara, to present his talk. So uh, thank you for inviting thank you for inviting me in this uh, uh, great conference. I'm very happy. So thank you for uh, the committee and uh, especially uh, BJ San. So uh, today's uh, talk uh, talk thing is incoherent digital holography for multi dimensional motion picture imaging. So, and this slide shows uh, uh, our research topic, so uh, incoherent digital holography, IDH. IDH is a technique for recording a digital hologram of spatially and temporally incoherent light and obtaining a 3D image of incoherent light from the recorded program. Using the recorded program, we can obtain the motion picture image or uh, quantitative phase image. And this technique can be applied for uh, fluorescence microscopy as a 3D fluorescence microscopy. And uh, quant simultaneous imaging of fluorescence and quantitative phase imaging can be conducted using incoherent digital holography. Even uh, the identification of the variety of light, such as LED light and uh, fluorescence light, can be uh, identified and detected respectively. Using uh, as another aspect, uh, incoherent digital holography is uh, suitable for uh, fabricating a compact uh, digital holography system like the uh, hand, hand uh, size, uh, interferometer, and uh, portable uh, holography uh, camera systems, so TAM, a uh, whole camera, and whole sensor. So th this uh, implementation can be uh, constructed on a uh, wood table, so we can obtain the uh, uh, programs stably. Uh, using the uh, incoherent digital holography, filter exploration 3D imaging can be conducted. Today's topic is here. So this slide shows the schematic of digital holography. Digital holography usually uh, uses a laser light source to capture the interference switch image. So laser light illuminates a 3D object and uh, light diffracted from the object uh, introduces, is introduced to the image sensor frame. Using uh, the reference wave, uh, interference switch pattern of object wave can be captured and uh, using a laser light, so stake-like hologram can be captured. Using uh, uh, signal processing such as a uh, uh, Fourier transform method or uh, phase heat interferometry, uh, 3D image of the object can be reconstructed like this. However, laser light source is generally required, so stack uh, noise problem cannot be avoided. So this is a uh, 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 serial problem of the digital property. On the other hand, uh, Interference fringe patterns can be captured using uh, natural light, uh, such as we can see the interference fringe pattern or a bubble soap, and we can obtain the interference fringe image of white light using Newton ring, like this. So such the uh, uh, interference uh, term is termed self-interference phenomena. So uh, this phenomena is applied to digital holography as incoherent digital holography, IDH. So this slide shows a, a brief a history. 
of uh, the near future of IDH. So, uh, uh, like, uh, like uh, the Professor Rose uh, described, uh, incoherent holography is uh, experimentally demonstrated in 1960s. And then, optical scanning holography and phase shifting IDH termed apostrophic holography are uh, presented. And then, so holographic fluorescence microscopy has been demonstrated using optical scanning holography OSH. And then, so various IDH techniques are presented, including Fitch. So Fitch is very uh, simple and uh, effective technique, and therefore, so many researchers uh, followed Fitch. Uh, 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 until now. So PSF improvement is achieved in incoherent imaging with Finch. So this is uh, uh, around the foundation in uh, incoherent imaging with Finch. And then same shot imaging techniques has been, uh, uh, many, many techniques are te demonstrated like this. So in this, uh, in this, in the recently, so, Many articles have been uh, seen, and much dimensional measurements such as 3D and wavelength, polarization, and quantitative phase imaging, high speed motion picture measurement, uh, compactness, and uh, uh, development of applications, and uh, improvement of specifications with optical design uh, research topics, I think. So, research on IDH has been uh, continued, I think. So I'd like to uh, briefly uh, explain the uh, contribution of Finch. Finch attracts uh, many researchers and sets a trend for IDH. So many researchers started to uh, research on IDH after reading Finch uh, publications. Poch and iPoch uh, connect IDH and polydaparture imaging and improve the specifications of Finch, uh, like uh, uh, Professor Rose, uh, right? in the previous presentation. Our research group introduces, uh, initially introduces many research of laser DH technique. <laughs> many laser DH techniques and then uh, conducts a multi-dimensional holographic imaging by uh, constructing and modifying the optical setup. So the modifying and improvement of our optical setup is uh, our contribution, I think to improve the specification. So this slide shows the schematic of IDH. So in, in especially in coherent digital holography, uh, object is uh, considered as a uh, much incoherent summation of object points. So initially I'd like to uh, explain using object point. So from the object point, spherical uh, wave is the introduces polarizer and uh, dual focus lens. And then dual focus lens uh, generates two object points from the single object points. And then two object points uh, interfere with each other on the missing circle uh, through phase break and polarizer. And then we can obtain a program of object point. In this recorded object point, three-dimensional information of the object point is uh, contained in the center of the object point uh, corresponds to the uh, in-plane direction and the uh, uh, fine, uh, fineness of the uh, incoherent hologram uh, mean, uh, corresponds to the depth, depth information of the object point. So we can uh, regard it uh, regard as the uh, uh, object uh, as, as the incoherent summation of the uh, object points. So we can obtain the uh, incoherent program of an uh, object. However, the uh, principle is very simple. So using uh, the procedure of uh, digital holography, we can obtain three-dimensional information of the object. So in the uh, our research, as among the our research uh, group system, we have uh, applied the uh, single shot phase system interferometry. So to incoherent digital holography to capture the uh, uh, holograms with a single shot exposure and a three dimensional motion picture uh, of the program of the object image can be obtained using a single shot phase system interferometry. In this uh, implementation, uh, the optical implementation of ADH and the uh, optical implementation of the single shot phase system interferometry 
uh, constructed with a quarter wave plate and polarization color image sensor. Using these uh, optical uh, devices, so space division multiplexing of color density program uh, simultaneously captured. Using the polarization color image sensor, uh, motion picture imaging of the uh, OCD object image can be obtained at the frame rate of the polarization color image sensor. So we have, we have uh, fabricated uh, the uh, single shot phase system and coherent color holography system with a camera lens to minify the object image. So we timed uh, this uh, system as a uh, whole camera. So the point, uh, many, main, one of the main point of the whole camera is uh, a careful adjustment of the optical path length uh, between uh, two object waves because so all interference fringe image, interference fringes is uh, uh, so immediately uh, so immediately disappears if the care adjustment is failed. So this uh, slide shows an experimental demonstration of a whole camera with sunlight. Uh, we have uh, conducted uh, this experiment in my house. So from the, in my house, so I, I have captured uh, other persons and uh, us and uh, metric bus. So using this whole camera, so three-dimensional information of the metric bar and uh, houses can be uh, reconstructed using uh, diffraction integrals. So we have um, uh, achieved, uh, uh, we have achieved uh, through color imaging with sunlight. As another experiment, we have used uh, RGB LED and moving objects. In this uh, experiment, a uh, rotator in the shape of cherry blossom is prepared and I have used a uh, uh, blower to uh, rotate this uh, object. So and then uh, motion picture holograms can be uh, has been recorded. Using a uh, single shot space system integrometry and LDH, we have obtained uh, the focused image of moving objects with a full color. So we have achieved a uh, motion picture imaging uh, using a uh, simple holography uh, setup. And then uh, one of the courses, uh, Professor Shimobaba is a professional to uh, uh, in uh, digital holography with uh, deep learning. So he has uh, applied a mirror net to the reconstructed image of the object. And then so a high resolution and spectral noise dress image has been obtained using uh, the combination of uh, optical design and information science. Then we have obtained the motion picture uh, holograms of me. So this slide shows the experimental demonstration of the, uh, um, <laughs> my hands and my face of the uh, holograms. So 3D motion picture imaging of a large object is uh, uh, something uh, uh, difficult because uh, uh, so the low signal to noise ratio of the hologram. However, uh, by applying the uh, BM40, BM40 is one of the uh, sparse modeling technique. So uh, uh, one of the uh, compression sensing technique is applied and the so noise information is uh, effectively removed. So one of the courses, uh, Professor Nakamura has applied to the reconstructed image of the motion picture images and the random image has uh, been successfully removed. So I'd like to briefly uh, mention the research direction of the LDH with daily use light as performed by the Professor Popescu. So rubber free quantitative measurement of transparent specimens is a very effective way to uh, apply the high-quality photography as another way. So photography is applied to uh, daily light, daily used light, such as sunlight and daily light. So we can capture the uh, color motion picture holograms of uh, science. So until now. The compact program recorder can be fabricated like the time size. Uh, program recorder is will open the way to the uh, add, add the polarization image sensor uh, to program recording function, I think. 
And then, so implemented holy system can be uh, uh, can be uh, converted to uh, as a so commercially available apparatus to uh, to give us a three image recording function. So contribution of photography for the future was relatively very wide and wide, I think. So using incorporated digital photography, uh, we can uh, we can uh, apply the IDH to solve uh, many uh, many uh, research sheets by uh, respective grade, I think. So contribution for science, uh, inspection of uh, life science uh, biological uh, production, and contribution for improvement of QOL, and uh, toward beyond 5G and imaging science. I directly conclude my talk. Including digital photography for multi dimensional motion picture imaging was introduced. Much dimensional information is obtained with IDH. Improvement of specification in IDH is achieved by introducing laser DH techniques, modifying optical designs, applying techniques of uh, information science. IDH has high potential to, for contributing to many research and application fields as a much dimensional sensitive measure. I have, uh, uh, I have, uh, uh, I have, I'd like to thank many fans and uh, uh, staff for uh, supporting me, so for supporting us. I have advertisement, the map and radio that have been published with the researchers of IDH, including the inventor of uh, Finch, uh, Professor Rosen, and my uh, coach, and the coach, uh, Professor Vijay uh, 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 San and uh, Josan. So uh, I have direct to special thanks uh, to Professor Vijay San for your kindness and great opportunities. Thank you for your uh, kind uh, listening. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Tatsuki, for your amazing presentation. So it is really exciting to see the, I mean, uh, incoherent holography videos. I think uh, it is a big step uh, in incoherent holography.